What's going on everybody? I'm Running Man Zero and I got one question for you. What can't Jack Sparrow do? He's defeated Davy Jones. He's double crossed Blackbeard. But never in a million years did I think he would save Sea of Thieves. That's right, Captain Jack Sparrow has saved Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves saw 4.8 million active players thanks to Pirates of the Caribbean crossover. The most. It was the busiest month ever for Rare. Finally, after three years, Rare has done something right with Sea of Thieves. And I gotta say, I was hesitant. I was hesitant to play this, A Pirate's Life. Even though I love Pirates of the Caribbean, it's one of my favorite franchises ever, I was still hesitant because of what Sea of Thieves was the last time I played it, when it first came out. And it was nothing. There was nothing to do except for collect treasure and bring it back. It was boring. The best thing I could say about the game was that the water graphics were incredible. If the graphics are the best part of the game, then it's not a good game. But finally, after three years, Rare has done something right. And I gotta give props to Rare. They kept updating this game. And they were getting more and more people. And of course, when you have a crossover with Pirates of the Caribbean, you're going to get a lot of people coming back to it. And that's exactly what I did. So congratulations, Rare. You finally did it right. You finally did Sea of Thieves right. Thank you. Because there's just not any Pirates games... I mean, I can't look forward to Skull and Bones anymore. That's that's in development hell. I don't want that. I don't want that. So thank you, Rare, for fixing Sea of Thieves, for sticking with it. And thank you. And Disney, Pirates of the Caribbean, is still a great franchise. People still enjoy it. So if you're going to make another movie, do it right. Just saying. I'm Running Man Zero. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.